Air Force will showcase its next-generation stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider, during the first week of December, breaking the tight cloud of secrecy that has enveloped the aircraft's development. Northrop Grumman and the Air Force confirmed the timetable for revealing the B-21 on Tuesday, stating that it will provide an exclusive look of the aircraft at the company's factory in Palmdale, California. The bomber, which would be nuclear-capable, will cost around $639 million per jet, and the Pentagon hopes to acquire at least 100 of them to supplement and eventually replace the old B-2 Spirit. The B-21 is the most sophisticated military aircraft ever developed and is a result of pioneering ingenuity and technological excellence," said Northrop Grumman CEO Doug Young in a statement. Six B-21 test aircraft are in different stages of final assembly at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale factory, and the first test flight is expected for 2023. The specific date of the reveal in early December has not yet been decided, and authorities say that the ceremony will be invitation only. Last July, the Air Force unveiled the newest photorealistic concept picture of the B-21, which is the most recent representation available of the aircraft. Unlike earlier designs of the bomber, which were revealed in 2020, this picture has a more pronounced beak at the front and a slanted glass for the primary cockpit windows. The bigger B-2 features four windows that wrap around the front of the cockpit. The photograph also shows the bomber taking off from Edwards Air Force Base in California where it is slated to get testing in the following years. The secret bomber is still in development by the military and is part of the Long Range Strike Bomber Program, LRSB, LRSB. It is projected to be in service by 2026 or 2027 and will supplement the B-2 Spirit, as well as the Boeing B-52 Strato Fortress bomber fleets, before eventually replacing both of them. Nuclear modernization is a high priority for the Department of Defense and the Air Force, and B-21 is crucial to that strategy," said Randall Walden, Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office Director, in a statement. The built-in characteristic of open systems architecture on the B-21 makes the bomber effective as the threat environment develops. This aircraft design strategy places the nation on the proper road to securing America's sustained air power capacity. All of the officially released photographs so far are creative renderings. Not official pictures of the top secret plane have yet been released. The first official depiction of the B-21 Raider was revealed in 2016, but only showed its basic design. Renderings produced in 2020 indicated how the B-21 Raider might appear in hangars at several U.S. locations, but again were low on detail. The latest picture offers further information of the cockpit design and nose portion. It also exhibited no traces of the huge air intakes featured in early drawings, which had apparently been a bone of controversy in the design stages. The Raider is named after the Doolittle Raiders, U.S. Army Air Force troops, who performed a spectacular surprise raid on Japan on April 18, 1942 during World War II. The B-21 Raider will be able to carry nuclear bombs, but will also be able to use a diverse mix of standoff and direct attack weapons according to the newest data sheet from the Air Force. According to the U.S. Air Force's newest data sheet, the B-21 cost has an average cost of $639 million in FY19. Richard Abulafia, vice president and analyst at the Teal Group, told Military.com there's always been a degree of skepticism about the eventual cost of the planes, noting that statistics are only for the purchase price and not ancillary goods. The B-21 Raider Force will be based at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, and Dias Air Force Base in Texas, according to the information sheet. It will have a two-person crew, but will be capable of uncrewed operation, according to popular mechanics. The Air Force will acquire at least 100 of the B-21 Raiders to replace the aging fleet of B-2s and B-1s, but some officials anticipate the fleet would eventually be comprised of 220 bombers. 75 B-52s, and 145 B-21s.